Hi, David Campanile here, owner of Campanile Law, located in the state of New Jersey. We handle estate planning and probate. So today's topic came to me as I was driving around this weekend. It was Memorial Day weekend this past weekend for all of those who were watching uh, in the future. And um, I saw all these really old cars heading to parades. And I was like, you know what people really need to know? What happens to these cars or their cars when they die? And how do we change titles? So that's our topic for today. But before we dive into this topic, if you have any questions pertaining to estate planning or probate, and you want to schedule a free strategy session over the phone with me, head on over to njestateattorney.com to schedule a day and time that works best for you. So this is kind of interesting. So in New Jersey, you have, if somebody passes away, you have 30 days where you can operate the vehicle before the title needs to be changed. Now, if there are co-owners on the title, all you need to do is have the new client, uh, excuse me, have the co-owner sign an affidavit that says they are the co-owner and they pay, uh, they have to go to motor vehicles, make sure you schedule an appointment because uh, this could be a little time consuming and um, they'll need a copy of the death certificate. There's an affidavit right online the original title of the car and a $60 fee. That'll take the old person off the title and put the uh, co-owner as the 100% owner of that vehicle. So kind of simple, squared away, easy. But if we go to where there uh, is a will but no co-owner, what you really need to do is... Uh, the estate is going to have to apply for the EIN. Now, this is standard when we have estates. Um, this is how the government can tra uh, track things, especially when we have to do uh, estate tax returns and everything. So you apply for your EIN number. That's free on irs.gov. Um, once you get that EIN, you're going to bring the original title in uh, along with uh, and complete signed by the executor. Um, you're going to bring a short certificate appointing the executor from the county surrogates court and your driver's license is proof of identification. You're also going to pay a $60 title fee um, or $85 if it's a finance title fee. Um, they just increase it by $25. I'm not 100% sure why, but I think that's because there's still money owed on the vehicle. And then... Uh, you're also going to need proof of New Jersey insurance in the estate's name. So this is moving the vehicle into the uh, estate's name. Um, and that's with a will. Now, if there isn't a will uh, and there's a surviving spouse, uh, you're going to have to bring in the surrogate's um, certificate um, and <clears throat> the county where they lived, an original death certificate, uh, and a notarized uh, affidavit, which again is online, sorry. Um, and if there isn't a co-owner and there's no will, but you're gonna need an all, uh, affidavit of next of kin, which is gonna need the raised seal from the county uh, surrogate's office. Um, and if the uh, vehicles are worth more than $50,000, you can transfer it um, but it's going to have to be executed by the administrator of the estate along with the short certificate with the raised seal. But something I didn't know, which is always fun learning new things, um, when you're looking into things deeper and deeper is I didn't know this. I bet you didn't know this, that you can actually complete a transfer on death beneficiary form with motor vehicles which takes your vehicle out of your estate. This is pretty cool, actually. So um, this transfer won't take effect until the owner passes away. That's awesome. That's a transfer on death. Um, or the death of the last surviving owner if there are co-owners. And you're just going to need to complete the transfer on death beneficiary form, which is going to be held by the vehicle owner, presented by the beneficiary with the original title, a death certificate, and there's a universal title application, again, online on the Motor Vehicles website, um, after the death of the owner. And, um, you know, New Jersey really does try to make this quick and easy. Just remember, schedule an appointment. 
But if you have any questions pertaining to estate planning or probate or even this topic, please head on over to njestateattorney.com right now uh, and schedule a day and time that works best for you to talk. Again, my name is David Campanile. I'm the owner of Campanile Law located in the state of New Jersey. We handle estate planning and probate. Have a wonderful day.